on today's episode of The Game Chasers. I'm not the cameraman it's today. It's a red light. He's the cameraman today. <laughs> Let's just see where this fucking roller coaster is going to take us at the end. Train wreck. <laughs> I'm just going to sit back and watch them get screwed over. This is the type of thing that only happens in a freaking cartoon. Dude, it's one of the rarest games on the system. Oh, I got to smoke a ball and take a dip. So I'm picking up Melvor here, and uh, we're gonna go and get the Dongo afterwards. These two schmucks have been trying to look for video games whenever they're holding the camera. Well, now it's time to get it all out of their system. Kind of a role reversal thing going on here. We've toyed around with the idea for a while now, and we finally decide to actually do it. Let them have their day, and I'm gonna videotape. We get to Dodongo's place. I'm knocking on the door, and nothing. It's like, okay, this isn't that that much of a surprise, I figured Dodongo's still asleep, so I try calling him. Nothing. This is a disaster. Is, is he that plastered that he's not even gonna wake up today? It's 12.30 right now. <laughs> and I guess that's a bit too early for, for Dodongo to be awake, to answer his door even, or his phone. I shouldn't be surprised about this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm kinda angry, actually. I even get on the action, I'm like, Get out of here with your noodle arms. Bum, 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 bum. Like nothing, still nothing. This, this is, this is not good. So we end up calling our friend Rufus and Rufus is like, yo, he's staying at his girlfriend's house. Who luckily enough is actually in the same apartment complex, but like nobody bothered to tell us this. You're supposed to film, go out with this, remember? He forgot. He's so angry. And you can tell he just got out of bed. I, now, now you guys know why he doesn't show up very much anymore. It's like... Well, <laughs> Doggo, you want to go film? Sure. You know, the next day. What are you guys doing here? Not, not, doesn't, doesn't really make for a productive day now, does it? Go <laughs> oh, alright. There's 40 bucks in it for you. Ah, oh, you dick. He's acting like he doesn't want to go and and this whole thing might be just a big bust. I'll be honest, Dodongo doesn't like doing this. He doesn't like going out and doing, Dodongo likes doing Dodongo things and this is not a Dodongo thing. I guess he forgot 12 hours ago that he, he set this thing up. I didn't remember the conversation the previous night. I can understand forgetting something. How do you become oblivious to something 12 hours previously? That's Dodongo. I vaguely remember something about going out the next day. At that point in time, I proceeded to get drunk as shit, and uh, I passed the fuck out. That's the dongo. And I'm fucking still drunk, no bulls from the night before. That's the dongo. I'll call you. I gotta put this up. And oh, and he and he's holding a bong, by the way, in broad daylight. See, the boy has no shame. He's not afraid of anything. It's this. This is ridiculous. I wasn't answering my phone on purpose. All right. <laughs> I answered the door, unbeknownst to me, it was a fucking game chaser. <laughs> I completely forgot about it. I realized, I, I didn't know what y'all wanted, but I realized it wasn't gonna be something that I wanted to do. The worst mother drunken surprise in the world, okay? <laughs> I want to go to Trader's Village. We haven't had any luck at Trader's Village in, in seriously a couple of years, I think. I agree with Melvor right now because I I don't want to go to f***ing Trader's Village. They're not going to find any deals there. Well, I mean, that's the only place close that it's actually going to have anything though. We're going to get f***ing scraps. So right out of the car, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm busy getting my dy dynamic, awesome, you know, shot of Walk into because you gotta get that shot of walking to the flea market because you gotta. I better not get a sunburn today. These mally sons of bitches. He can't film. Oh, it's no. not as easy as it looks. Oh is no, it? yo, I have. How do you guys walk with this thing? <laughs> oh, say you're already up. Right. Left. 
I know this is gonna be a good day. This is gonna be fun because the first thing that I see, that I witness whenever they walk right in to the stupid flea market is this. Okay, so we already passed the game, just saying. What? We passed games? You passed the game right there. There's no game that I want, all right? I can tell. I knew it was gonna happen eventually, but literally like seven seconds into the place, already missing games. This isn't the way I would like this to start. You know, for Billy to be able to call us out immediately upon entering the gates, that we've already missed something uh, is not a good start for me and Dodongo. You don't want that game. That's not the game you're looking for. <laughs> is it? This is not the game I'm looking for. These are sh games, Billy. What you thinking? I'm thinking there's no Galaga, so I'm good. I'm not gonna pick up the Namco Museum because I'm really not interested in them unless they have either Galaga or Defender. There's no Galaga, there's Galaga right there. No, it's Galaxian. <laughs> no, there's no Galaga. Those are my all-time favorite Atari slash original arcade kind of game games, you know what I mean? It's Galaxia. Don't don't question me, all right? I know my So we're finding a few a few games at this booth. Um, but but nothing really that, that catches my eye. Dodongo's really not impressed either, so we move on. 40? 40? That's not bad. That's not bad. Supposed to be looking at games, not amps. Shut the f up. I'll for whatever the I want to. I came out here to do what I want to do. You're filming me, not the other way around today, buddy. Oh, okay. Here, 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 here we come. Okay, so check it out. All right. I'm going to be completely honest with you. At this point in time, it's mine and Melvor's rodeo. All right. Uh, Billy is along for the ride. Why? Because Jay couldn't can take that ride because he's a bitch. Because I want to know. Because we're the cameraman, he's the game chaser. Oh, so, that's right. So we're used to looking at them, and they're used to looking at everything else. Like we're gonna come here, not get any games, but we're gonna walk out with socks and an amp or two, and maybe a fucking pinata. I feel like I feel like that dude on Star Wars during the trench run. Stay on target. Stay on target. We're here for a reason. We've been here a total of not even 10 minutes and I'm already toast. I'm getting sick and tired of Texas weather. How much? This is seven dollars. Seven? So, so far, five minutes into this place. <laughs> Didn't know where the hell they were going. Missed like a lot of games, walked right past it. Bitching about the sun, uh, looking at amps, and now buying hats. This is, this is, this is gonna be a wonderful day. A little further on, I do spot some games in a booth. Um, I head over there and and I'm seeing some good games. Good on. This is like noon on a Saturday. If this was a good deal, it would have already been bought. This guy has some really good games right here, but I'm 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 expecting you know 30, 35, you know, if we're very unlucky, you know, 40 plus. The games that are the same. Right there, I'm happy. And I, I don't know how much these games cost, but I know full well they're mo more than $10 a piece. You don't like the whole set? Uh, no. No. No, yeah, I've already got this. How much um, for the uh, Kirby 3064? Uh, $10. $10? How much for the Zelda? Uh, In this booth, I'm actually seeing Majora's Mask. And I loved Ocarina Time. I played that game so much. That's that's probably my favorite Zelda game of all time. But for whatever reason, I never picked up Majora's Mask. And and I still haven't to this day. So this is a game that I've always meant to pick up and play, and it's sitting here in front of me now. I'm kind of excited. I do 20 for both. 20 for both? For both. Uh, this this like defies explanation. I literally have no explanation of why this lot is here at these prices at like half the half the day is gone on a Saturday. It makes no logical sense. You know, Melvor he sees a couple that he's interested in. I start picking through the rest of them and I notice that pretty much all of them I need. 
My only guess is that this guy had this stuff laying around and just now put it on to the table or whatever. How much for the Pokemon Stadium and the Ogre Battle 64? Uh, if you buy this three, 25. The first thing the Dongo sees is uh, a Pokemon game. You know, this game is based on elements like that, so it didn't matter. Doesn't matter who the fuck you pick. You know, you can have a well-rounded team and still come back, and you really never know who's gonna fucking win or lose. It was just a really well-rounded game. He actually says this is something that we played back in the day. I personally don't remember this. It was whenever we were all living in an apartment, and we had a fireplace, but instead of a fire and the fireplace, we had a TV in the fireplace. <laughs> and we had the 64 hooked up to that fucking TV, and we would play Pokemon Stadium while everybody else was watching TV or playing the PlayStation 1 or whatever the fuck it was at the point in time, or looking at web TV, trying to, trying to look up porn. That's a really good game. Oh my god. What if, what, about, what if we get four? What if we get all four? What, yeah, actually, what if we get five? Okay. We can get all five. So, I'll, I'll say 25. Hey. You get another three, this another 25. Or $10 I'm also seeing this this Zelda DS game here. It's uh, the Phantom Hourglass. This is another one that I, I I missed when it came out. Never had a chance to play. And after hearing that the prices for these 64 games, I'm actually kind of kind of hoping I can get this at a decent price. That's a really good game. How much for the uh, DS game here, the Zelda? Uh, would you do that as the three three for 25? The Dongo jumps right in and says, "Hey." Will you add that game to the the three for twenty five? Yeah, you do that. I, I can do that. this three. These three for twenty five. So 25? that's 50 and then for these three, fifty for everything. Okay. Yeah. Split it. Yeah. Twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah, you do that. Honestly, this this has beat my expectations because I wasn't expecting anything this good. I was I was honestly expecting some some commons for you know ten dollars a piece. So I'm stoked right now. What do you think so far? I'm happy. This guy is is basically asking, um, you know, for for a couple of bucks for really great games. I definitely wanted, like, I wanted all of them to be honest with you. I wanted the Kirby, the Zelda, the Ogre Battle, the Pokemon Stadium, all of them. There's no reason that game should have been there at this late in the afternoon on a Saturday. Why is it rare? It's, dude, it's one of the rarest games on the system. Are you serious? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's pulling our leg. He's, he's genuinely angry at this point, so he has to be serious. I could have easily put down the camera, just like elbowed him out of the way and got the ogre battle, but I didn't, all right? I was doing my job. I was doing my job. Now, granted, I wanted to do my job and get the game, and I was working my way that way until stupid Dodongo was like, Burger Rattle! Th this is something that th that Dodongo and I weren't expecting. You know what, this is what happened. This is what happened. They were sitting there, a good deal was sitting here and then just fell right into the lap. This, this, this just took a pretty decent episode and just took it to like an epic level. They bumbled and stumbled their way into a good find. There was no skill involved. This game that Dodongo picked up almost seemed like it was an afterthought, you know, and the fact that this is the true gold out of this, this buy that we had, this buy which included Kirby games, Bomberman, Zelda games for really good prices, this game I've never heard of before is actually the jewel in this purchase. Is, there, is it really a rare game? Dude, it's one of the rarest games in the world. Dude, high five, man. That's Fuck awesome. Yeah. Hey, I don't even have it. <laughs> I just knew I had to have it. So at this point, we're, we're like on cloud nine. Um, it doesn't matter what we find, if anything, the rest of this trip, we found gold. We have a really good episode in line. We're looking around, we come to this one booth, uh, that, that really just has a bunch of junk, you know? But Billy actually spots a DVD and gets really excited about it. Dude, dude, 
Dude, it's Ghoulies 3. Yeah. Ghoulies 3, holy They go to college. Uh, That's not... Are you you can't find that anywhere. Like, I didn't even know it was on DVD. All I've known it was being on like VHS and then things like 50 or $60 when you would come across it. So even Billy might be coming out of this a winner. That's Sweet. Like, dude, I'm getting that. No, you're not, I'm getting that. You're not getting that. I, I you know, f ogre battle. I want Ghoulies 3. Oh, Damn. it's missing a disc. It's a two pack. And it's not there. Of course it's not there. <laughs> Dude, I've been wanting to see Goonies 3 for the longest time. Can't beat this. Cameraman winners, a game chaser's the loser. Goonies 3, they go to college and they drink beers and they talk. Oh, let's take a tour around, schmucks. Okay. Yeah. Wait. How, how you need to look for games when you have two beers in your hands? Easy. With my f***ing eyes. I'm only here to entertain me at this point. <laughs> Mouthy. I feel we missed a lot of stuff over there. We'll come back to it. So after Dodongo has his uh, his alcohol break, um, we decide to continue the game chasing, and um, we find this vendor that has some pretty cool games. What are you guys filming for? Uh, we got this dumb show we're going around looking for video games. Game chasers? Yes. Well, hell yeah! Nice to meet you guys. Well, the guy was the guy's real nice. He's letting us film. He's letting us look around. He's he's real chatty and has some cool stuff here. Alf cards, that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. This guy's got some really cool stuff. Um, I know because I'm looking. <laughs> and uh, But I don't really see anything that I'm interested in. Uh, however, if you're a new collector like these assholes are, then there's a lot of stuff here that they could potentially be interested in. I could totally see that. Yeah, I'm, I'm really thinking about these. This and the first Rebel Assault are, are games that have kind of eluded me for a while. And... I always fucking love pilot games because I'm a badass pilot, obviously. Oh, I'm, be I am. I'm better than Billy. So. I say, I'm a pilot, you know. What games are those? Those look pretty cool. I don't know what those are. Flashback is like Prince of Persia, but with the gun. Really? Yeah. Alone in the Dark is kind of the same way, but it's more of like a like really dark, slower paced version because you got to actually take your time with it. You can't just run and gun through it. Astro Chase 3D? I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know what these games are. I don't know what a Mac play is. But it, it really intrigues Dodongo for some reason. I don't have a Mac. I don't know what the f the Mac play is. So these are all Mac versions pretty much? Uh, yeah, they are all Mac versions. Okay. Uh, mm. it's, more, it's really more of a just collector kind of thing even yeah, more yeah, than yeah, I yeah, really yeah, can yeah, actually play it. What, I, what I'm looking at it for too. Yeah. I mean, I, I really, I don't have a Mac play. I don't know if I can get a converter for it or an emulator for it at all, but just to kind of have it sitting on the shelf, it might be worth it, you know? Um, I mean, would you like 15 for it? Oh, absolutely. Without even having to worry about it. I was, I was thinking somewhere around 10, 15, so. You know, it's funny. Dodongo was throwing out prices at this at this vendor um, that are higher than the vendor's actually actually thinking, and the vendor is actually giving him a lower price automatically after Dodongo was throwing a number at him. So we're at ten fifteen then for this right now then. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. Dodongo is a huge RPG fan, and um, he sees this this Japanese import Final Fantasy VII game that he is just just so happy to find. What are you asking for this? Uh, not knowing what to ask, I had him priced around twenty twenty five. Twenty twenty five. I don't know. What do you think, sir? I I have to say, Billy and Jay are better negotiators than the Dongo. Uh, <laughs> Because Jay would have automatically said two dollars, two dollars, two dollars, and then he works from there. Honestly, twenty sounds kind of fair. You know what I mean? Did that just happen? Yeah, yeah it just that happened. just happened. Oh! The dongo drops a beer. I'm not surprised at this point. Uh, he's had several, so um, luckily he has a backup. It's <laughs> a good thing I got two. Uh, possibly this right here. Possibly a couple of these. Grab a couple of those. I'm looking at these elf cards and he wants two dollars a pack. Two dollar a piece for these? Absolutely sure not. 
Okay. These these old cards from the 80s, man, they'd have them for anything and everything. You know, movies, cartoons, TV shows, it didn't matter. I used to get gar Garbage Pal Kids, Batman was huge for me, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And, and I just love these things, man. I love picking these things up if I can at a decent price and opening them up. It's like, it's almost like opening up a time capsule. You got this sealed piece of, of vintage 80s in your hand and you don't know what's actually in it. Five for everything? Yeah, yeah why not? Dude, all right. A little volume discount there, so. Dude, hell yeah, man. Appreciate it. That actually made my day because I was a little worried today. It was, it was pretty slow today, I don't know why. We've had a really successful day. Um, got a really good episode actually out of this. Um, we're we're both exhausted, and we're we're ready to go. You guys are tired, ready to go. We've only been here a couple hours. Dude, this heat makes it feel like we've been here eight hours. I'm drunk. Golf. Starting to get a little cranky. So at this point, I'm I'm toast, man. We've been walking around for I don't even know how long. You, I need another beer. I'm looking through the viewfinder. This is what I see. I see I see the doggo drunk, and I see Mel Melvor on the bench, just like. I got a question. Um, didn't we have two bags? I looked down, thinking, "Yeah, yeah, I have two bags." Except I don't have two bags. I have one bag. Damn it, Melvor. Something is not right here. Um, These two knuckleheads are just oblivious. Completely oblivious to the fact that they should have two bags. Two bags. I, I look into the bag I have, hoping for whatever reason I put one of the bags into that bag, but no, there's only one bag there. Please tell me we fucking video. <laughs> okay. I look around. Dodongo's not holding anything. Billy's not holding no, anything. he's holding something. Yeah, you're right about that. Dodongo is holding something, but it's not what I'm looking for. Dodongo's holding alcohol. Are you me, dude? Let's go back to this guy. Let's go back to this guy. Dude, where was that guy? Fingers crossed it's there. If that bag is not there, that's like the biggest woo -woo 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 <laughs> like in history. Give you the game which means you're responsible for the game. Hey, I went in there with the bag, I left with the bag. <laughs> All right, I wasn't thinking. No, you went in there with one bag, you're supposed to leave with two <laughs> bags, okay? He is not having any of it. He's like all like, oh, oh, I'm gonna kick his ass. I'm just having a ball. I'm just sitting back and watching this train wreck unfold and it is awesome. I know Billy's loving this right now. Billy is loving this. Dodongo's about ready to murder me, and all I can think of is I'm never gonna live this down. No, I'm not fucking happy at all at this point in time. Regardless of how many fucking beer bottles I got, I know what the fuck I got, all right? It's easy for Dodongo to rip on me right now um, when the only responsibility he's had today is to not drop his beer. Oh, he can't do that right though, can he? At, at a certain point, I just break into full sprint. I'm running because I figure the more seconds that pass, the less chance there is that this stuff is still there, if it is still there. My fingers are crossed and I'm, I'm thinking the whole way, you know what, this, this, this is going to be the biggest disaster in Game Chasers history and it's going to be my fault. so much. No problem. I kind of had it sitting to the side so nobody would grab it. This vendor just saved me from, from an everlasting humiliation and having to listen to Dodongo and Billy and everybody else on the internet making fun of me about this. You are I, I'm like looking at you like going, I bet it's those dudes. That's got to be. Got to be. Well, thank so. you. You're honest. Uh, you know, what am I going to do? Try to hold on to them? Maybe they're sweet games, but I would be pissed that. off if that happened to me. So. This could have ended horribly wrong. 
probably in a fist fight with the Dongo, which he would have lost, by the way. <laughs> my, my dad tried to raise me right, and some of it stuck. So. Yeah. <laughs> Not all of it, but some of it. <laughs> I, 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 this is a com this is a complete reversal of of the first part of the day. Not how I was planning on this going. You know, when we got those big scores early on, I was like, yes, Billy's gonna look like the fool. But now I look like the fool, and he looks like the hero. This is the way game chasing go. Yeah, you almost f***ed us. You literally almost f***ed us today. I'm, uh-uh, no. Oh. Amateur mistake right there. I would never f***ing do that, ever, all right? And I'm, no, I'm f***ing, if, if I would have been responsible for the f***ing bag, I don't give a sh how drunk I am. If I would have been responsible for the bag, that would have never f***ing happened. Why? Because as drunk as I f***ing am, I know to hold on to my damn sh 